Welcome everyone, so Heroes Gabe here today coming at you with a little bit more information on uh, the Age of Annihilation uh, Heroescape Rebirth. Um, Renegade uh, had uh, an article in the GTM uh, magazine, uh, which ended up making its rounds uh, today on Facebook and Discord in terms of the uh, two-pager that you see on the thumbnail uh, of some of the arts, as well as just a lot of really good information on what to expect with uh, the Heroescape Rebirth and what Renegade kind of has in store for the Heroescape community. So, um, yeah, I, I saw it just a couple hours ago and I uh, wanted to bring that information to you here if you hadn't seen it. Um, it's pretty cool. I think we're going to get some good information based off of what I'm seeing here in terms of their plans. I think it's really interesting and I'm excited and, and I think it's important that we support them as best we can um, to help them succeed. So um, let's jump in and see what they have in store based off of what they've gotten these uh, in the GTM magazine. Uh, my plan is to read through it and react a little bit and um, just kind of give you my thoughts. So yeah. Let's jump right in. Alrighty, so on the first page here of the magazine, uh, we've got the new Heroescape logo, uh, Heroescape uh, view from Valhalla. We've got the Renegade um, uh, thing there. Uh, we've got Heroescape miniature game triumphantly returns 2024. Uh, and you'll also notice that it looks like they've got the SKU numbers here. Uh, there are no uh official prices yet obviously it says available august 2024 but i believe this magazine is specifically for like game stores um and so naturally this is a way for them to uh make you know orders um so you'll notice a few different things heroescape age of annihilation master set heroescape battle for the wellspring and heroescape the grove at lower's edge so it looks like uh, we can confirm that there are going to be three products uh, that we'll be able to purchase out of the gate. And uh, yeah, so let's uh, let's read up on it. There's, there's a bit of reading here. Um, wow, that, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Okay, so starting up at the top here, the Heroescape tabletop miniature game is back in 2024, resurrecting a game that has been out of circulation since 2010. Since the time Heroescape launched in 20 or 2004, there has been what some would call a golden age of board games, where more and more new gamers and casual gamers have d d dived into the hobby and made it a lifestyle all of their own. The time has come for Heroescape to introduce itself into a new generation of gamers. Heroescape transports you to the next era of a popular expandable miniature wargaming system. It includes stunningly detailed pre-painted miniatures, there's that confirmation again, that allow you to create your own rich world. Using modular tiles, you build sprawling battlefields on which to play out conflicts between powerful heroes and villains. There'll be three launch configurations for the game ready for players to dive into. The all-new Age of Annihilation Master Set, the entry-level Battle for the Wellspring two-player battle box, and the first entry in the Heroescape Terrain System line of game pieces, the Grove at Lower's Edge Terrain Pack. All right, so even right there, this is some really solid confirmation. So we've got a master set, we've got a entry level battle box, which I think is awesome because that's that's just going to be probably uh, you know a, a like a starter kit. Like if you ever gotten like the D and D starter kits, it's just enough to get your you know dip your toe in the game, get used to it, play it, um, and and kind of yeah, just you know spend probably a it's a way to get people into the game without having to spend too much money probably. Uh, and then the Heroescape Terrain system uh, is really cool because that's, again, that coined, you know, logo or term or, or brand that they've said. Uh, so the Grove at Lower's Edge is the first terrain pack of that line, which is awesome. Uh, let's see, the Age of Annihilation Master Set falls in the footsteps of its predecessors, offering players 20 new pre-painted miniatures for Heroescape, 74 terrain tiles, 11, wow, magical glyphs, dang customizable wall terrain, and nine brand new scenarios to create hours of nail-biting gameplay. The master set supports two players and scales up to four players the addition of a with the addition of a battle box. Okay, very cool. Wow, okay, so 20 pre-painted minis, uh, 74 terrain tiles. I wonder if the 74 is hexes or if it's actual tiles. Like, for example, 74 hexes is practically nothing. Um, so my guess is they actually do mean terrain tiles because you can have 
124 hex tile, HeroScape tile, right? Uh, so my guess is they're probably going to be doing, if for the master set, my guess is they're actually going to probably have a substantial amount of terrain. 11 magical glyphs, that's crazy. I, I am very curious to see... <laughs> I mean, glyphs in general can really change up the the gameplay, so I'm excited to see what that is. Uh, scenarios obviously are fun, um, and yeah, master set uh, campaigns or scenarios very cool. Um, the Battle for Wellspring Battle Box is a new offering for HeroScape and contains everything needed for two players to set up and begin the battle for all time, including six brand new pre painted figures for HeroScape, featuring pirates from the Dawn Raider Syndicate. In addition to 31 terrain tiles, the Battle for Wellspring introduces a new terrain exclusive in this box, box, the Wellspring Water. Interesting. This new terrain has its own magical properties, and seven are included and can be added to any terrain setup from any uh, from any to be used with all... That sounds weird. Wait, any terrain setup from any... Okay, there's some grammatical error there to be used with all up to four players with the addition of a master set and sports four brand new scenarios to support hours of gameplay wow okay so oh, that's actually really cool so okay so again 31 terrain tiles about half well less than half of the terrain tiles of the other one probably just enough for like a little micro map right uh, probably like a, a small scraps map i mean dawn raider syndicate we know with six figures, you're probably getting a squad and a hero, uh, and then probably, you know, I don't know, I guess squad and a hero. There's, I think there's a three-man squad or a four-man squad. I'm trying to remember now. Um, so then you're probably getting only one other, one or two other heroes on the other side to fight. So interested to see what that is, or maybe they'll just do like two or three heroes of the syndicate and then one or two other dis, you know, disparate heroes. Yeah, interesting. Um, but the Wellspring Water, very interesting. Only seven of them that provide magical properties. I'm wondering how they're going to differentiate them. in turn, Like, from your normal water, your swamp water. I mean, I'm really curious to see what those end up being. That's exciting. That's going to make some really cool map-making uh, opportunities. Finally, the Grove at Lower's Edge train pack is the first entry in the HeroScape terrain system line and, you know, TM, so that's trademarked, and includes Lower jungle trees, Lower underbrush trees, and maps to help players create different battlefields for their HeroScape battles. Okay, so it says and maps. So like instructions? It doesn't say. So maybe this is the only, maybe this is basically just a Takala jungle pack, right? Because we knew we were basically getting Takala jungle in the original uh, offering. So maybe they're just essentially calling it, rebranding it Lower Jungle Trees and Underbrush Pieces, and or, or sorry, uh, Grove at Lower's Edge. Maybe it's literally just the three trees and six <laughs> bushes again uh, with some maps you can build. That would not surprise me. Um... Yeah, that's what it sounds like it probably is. Because it doesn't say terrain tiles. Like up here it says terrain tiles. Down here it actually just says map. So it's probably just instructions. Okay. All terrain packs will be backwards and forwards compatible for HeroScape gameplay. And it is a great way for fans of HeroScape to expand their collections and build it ever more intricate custom maps. While also making this terrain system accessible to players from the miniature games who might want to take advantage of HeroScape's hex-based 3D goodness. Yes! Super, super smart. We've been talking about this for a while now. Um, Battletech is a massive, massive hex-based train game that uses HeroScape terrain all the time at Gen Con and other events. Um, this will be massive for making good money off of them. <laughs> for those new to HeroScape gain system or need their memories jog, the HeroScape rule set comes complete with two levels of play. Okay, basic master set. Okay, sorry. Yada, yada, yada. Low learning curve. Basic rules. Sync, damage, doing master set rules, introduce more advanced concepts, blah, blah, blah. Okay, this is just introductory stuff. New two games will be the same, just like original race back in the day. The entire game has been painted. Fully accessible miniatures that will bring the epic struggle. Okay. And just that the new miniatures and factions are fully compatible with the previously released HeroScape. Okay. Yeah, they're just reconfirming stuff there. Um, there's the date then again, GTM, March 2024. Okay. 
So that's uh, page one. <laughs> Let's go to page two. Okay, page two, we get some uh, art. That's the new uh, Valkyrie for Utgar. Uh, can't remember her name. And then this is uh, Awashia, Awashua, I think. Can't remember. Um, it looks like we got some scary uh, maybe pirate dudes in the background there. Oh, maybe this is... Uh, Oh, this would make sense. This would make sense what that uh that this is the battle pack. So I think this is a Washua. Gosh, I can't remember the name. Um she does uh has a bunch of special abilities in water. And if the pack is her and a familiar, and then the four man pirate squad and the pirate, basically it's the pirates versus her and her familiar, and if she's got wellspring water that gives her buffs, I bet there's like little mini uh, maps you can make with wellsprings where the basically they're, she's taking the wellsprings. That's actually exactly what it looks like. It looks like she's exactly in a wellspring and you've got the jungle trees in the background. Yeah, in fact, I think that's exactly what they're doing here. She's essentially taking wellspring water and gaining power and they're there to assassinate her. <laughs> So yeah, I bet that's the battle tech box right there. Very cool. Or not bat what am I saying? Not battle tech, the bat the battle box. Oh gosh. Okay. Um well not many gamers now previous hero escape figures in their game collections. There are many devoted fans that have embraced the game and kept it alive. Renegades Game Studios has some special plans for real to stores for big launch. We know that our friendly local game stores are there where the action is, and only with our retail partners' support will HeroScape become the new phenomenon it is dis, uh, destined to be. So we will be offering two different tiers of pop kits for the launch. Very, very cool. The tier one pop kit will include a poster, a window cling, and some signage, 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 gosh, signage, <laughs> signage for the register or checkout area, all featuring cool HeroScape art. The tier two pop kit will include... Similar items, but mainly will include a HeroScape branded demo table. What? Like, can I, like, like an actual game table and a free master set. Wait, and a free master set, the table? Oh, oh, sorry, there's no, there's no period. <laughs> okay, and a free master set. Okay, so it included HeroScape branded demo table and a free master set, period. The table along with its free master set, can also be used as an awesome display piece to generate interest and excitement in your store. In addition, all stores that place a pre-order for the initial wave of HeroScape products will receive Sergeant Drake promo al uh, figures. Wait, Sergeant Alexander Drake. Pro okay, that, that name, that's the wrong name. Sergeant Drake Alexander. <laughs> okay, get the name right. Um, but very cool. The promo figure. Awesome. And then, you know, do giveaways for that or something. That's going to be sweet. Now, some more exciting news for the first time. HeroScape will be launching in stores with organized, uh, organized play OP. That is players will be able to sign up to play in launch events in stores on day one. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Wow. Organized play has always been an integral part of any truly successful game line. Renegade Game Studios is going all in to support stores and players with HeroScape goodies that will make the experience second to none. Wow. New tournament software. Whoa. Okay. Will allow event organizers to sign up and schedule launch party events for their stores. And every store that holds such an event will receive a special OP launch party kit containing the special participation promo miniature Shiori. <laughs> Let's go. Wow. And organized play adventures in Valhalla will continue in the future with future releases, casual play events, tournaments, play, and more. What an amazing opportunity for gamers to learn, play, and battle in the best of all environments, uh, the FLGS. What's the future of HeroScape? We'll only scratch the surface. Let's see. Coming in Q4 of 2024, more HeroScape miniature game goodness. Will find its way to gamers and stores expanding on already rich landscape of creatures and much feared generals to lead their armies to victory and in 2025 join the community as we discover more heroescape content promos events and uh adventures blah 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 okay gates are opening are you ready cool um yeah q4 uh gen con right gen cons in uh august well i guess it's not exactly q4 but they'll announce it all in august at Gen Con, you know, September, October, November, December, essentially Q4. 
So you'll you'll probably get big announcements at Gen Con for the second wave of this, and then uh, do you have pre-orders open. Well, shoot, dang, let's go. That's some good good information there. Actually, very very good information. So I mean, overall, that was looking pretty cool. Um, I think again, there's still some uh, reservations to be had. <laughs> uh you know for an official uh magazine like that you know it is kind of funny that there were some uh uh you know spoofs on uh grammatical errors and not getting sergeant drake names right which is uh interesting to say the least um mistakes happen they're you know they're not perfect we're all human uh so i'm not going to hold that particular aspect of it against them but uh some really cool things uh that i think could go really well um, if handled correctly. For example, um, they seem to be going about it the right way. You're uh, getting a master set for people who are gonna drop, you know, the big bucks for it. Uh, you're doing a battle box where someone can walk in the game store, see the cool game, see the huge display, you know, see a tournament going on and be like, cool, I want that, but I don't wanna buy, you know, hundreds of dollars. So maybe they drop 25, 30 bucks or whatever for the battle box or whatever it ends up being. Um, you know, and then you have the terrain packs, right? Which, again, sold separately as Heroescape terrain systems uh, are going to be accessible to all kinds of different games, right? Um, which is very, very smart and really, really cool. And I think that all makes sense what they're trying to do. Um, then you have uh, new tournament software, right? Uh, I mean, Heroescape.org is pretty dang, <laughs> pretty dang sweet uh you know in the it, functionally right functionally it, it does a, a ton of really awesome stuff for the community uh you know chris perkins who's the one that you know bought the domain and has done a great job you know maintaining it and making it usable for all of us i'm curious to see what they've got up their sleeve now my guess would be they likely are using a lot of the software they use for other games um but now they're just kind of roping heroescape into it so I, I'm, I'm not sure what that ends up looking like uh, because, you know, Heroescape.org is very specifically designed to operate for our Heroescape community, right? We're, we know exactly what functionality we want and how, how we need it to work to make tournaments run smoothly and conventions. So I have a little hesitation there. I'm, I'd be concerned a little bit only because we might have a better product. <laughs> uh, you know, it's not a bad thing, you know, Heroescape.org can still exist uh, as a way for us to use it, but, you know, it's, you want to try and support Renegade, so, I mean, if they have their own software and it's just not as good as the software we've created ourselves, you know, that, that's saying something, right? If, you know, someone who has a, who does this for fun as a part, not even a part-time job, uh, can, can code and, and design something, uh, higher quality than, you know, a company that does this, then, That'd be a little concerning. So I'm I'm hoping that the new tournament software is you know solid, great, and and usable for the Heroescape community. Remains to be seen. So we'll 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 see how that comes out. But the organized play is awesome um, in terms of what it sounds like they're going to do. Right? I mean, um, a launch like launch party events. Dang, that's sweet. You know, I mean, the game stores can purchase the games and have display tables and. Uh, you know, have promotional figures and, and participation figures, Shiori the participation figure. Um, I think this just speaks to everybody needs to get out and uh, get your local game stores uh, notified and get get your local scene active and get people out of the woodwork. Uh, this is going to be an immense and incredible opportunity because I think they're going to have the details for the launch party games or, or events. Uh, here probably, you know, in the next, you know, few weeks here. So um, get excited. I think this is going to be really, really cool in terms of, you know, what they've got planned. Um, the designs still will drive how successful it is, though, at the end of the day. So, um, again, I, 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 you know, we all have our reservations what, for whatever reasons they may be. I think this is still really, really good stuff. I think the, you know, what they're saying and, and at least how they're going about it organizationally uh, seems to make a lot of sense. Um, and so, yeah, 
I think I think we can get excited and and we should support and be hopeful and and look at this as a uh you know an exciting time you know um so yeah that's all I've got for you guys today <laughs> so uh yeah go check it out um those uh those images if you want to go back and read on those are available on the discords on the Facebook page uh people have been talking about it and getting excited about it all day long so anyway that'll be it for me thank you guys for watching see you guys next time